All right, everybody, it's Wessel out in Los Angeles, your friendly neighborhood uh, painter. Right now, I'm sitting on my porch like usual. Kind of a cloudy, a little bit cooler kind of day. This morning during my live, I actually had to keep a long sleeve shirt on, which was kind of cool. It was, <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, today's vlog is about to talk about some of my current art. I know I've been talking a lot about my older art recently, so I figured I'd show you guys what was up right now. Um, and the reason I can do that is because my buddy came by the other day. He ended up buying one of the uh, buying a painting because he couldn't do without it, and so I had a little bit of cash to throw down on supplies. So yeah, I actually got to do some pure painting for the first time in like two and a half weeks. So it was a uh, funny. Yeah, funny. It wasn't funny at all. It was quite scary since I haven't thrown paint on canvas for a minute. And so it was just like, yeah. All right. Anyway, I'm going to get to it so you don't just see my face talking. I'm going to go show you some what uh, some of my art. So here we go. All right. So these are two of the pieces that I did today. This was kind of a, a big experiment with uh, color and texture. Originally, it was going to be kind of like a dripping painting, but then I realized I didn't like how it was turning out, so I continued to mess with it and create more. I found I really liked how like the color worked uh, when it came to uh, what you call it, the blues and the oranges and the yellows. I'm curious to see how vibrant it's going to be when it dries. And the next piece that I'm, you know, I'll show you a work in progress. I'm not 100% sure if this one is done or not. Um, it's from my meditation mat series. So with this one, I stuck to the blues and greens because I really wanted to give like a forest feeling of like uh, relaxation and calm that people would get from being in a place like that. And so this is on a heavier canvas. I said for the meditation mats that I was going to move up to like a, I think a 14 ounce or whatever, or 16. I don't know which one it is. I have to check the package. And so I did. And this is my first experimentation. There were supposed to be two, but the uh, canvas that I bought was three inches short. So when I cut off the extra edge, um, I cut the other piece too short. But I turned that into a different art piece, which is the third one that I worked on today. Yeah, this one was actually honestly kind of inspired by this paint splotch right here. No joke. It's kind of funny like that. Because I put this painting out here to dry. This is kind of super wet. And I saw this and I sat for a second. I'm like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. And I was like, I wonder if I could recreate kind of effect like that. So I kind of went back to an older technique that I'd worked on in the past to kind of almost try and combine some of that. So practice makes perfect. So hopefully I'll be able to sell some more soon and make some more. All right, so I'm going to take you inside. I'm going to take you the long way. All right, I hope you're actually able to hear most of that outside. Into the room of doom. And so this was the other piece that I was working on. Um, and on, it was put, I, well, this is actually, I believe, going to be the entire piece. Like, it's, the color and quality kind of sucks because of the way the light is in here. Even turning on the top lights when I change out the, the resolution too much. But, yeah, what originally was going to be a two-part piece, like, with the shorter, not three-by-three three foot for meditation, and the scrap that was going to be, um, yeah, that was supposed to be just a scrap. And it was supposed to be just a mat, which then had, I was going to turn into a piece that combined two different, like, color schemes and feelings. Like, this one was going to be all energetic and stuff, and this one was going to be, like, a blue calm. But then, like I said, this became an entire piece when I looked at it. Oh, man, I'm stepping on wet paint in here. Um, it became an entire piece because I just loved the way that it balanced out with, like, you still had the reds and the blacks and all that other jazz that came, and the whites even, that kind of come out in the, the bottom canvas, but... Uh, it also adds like a whole feeling of space to it like once again this is a piece that's i don't know like six foot tall or something like that and so it's 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 a piece that the closer you like when you see it in real life the vibrancy of the colors it just makes a lot more sense but yeah this interior piece was supposed to be like red and anger and just like ah, frustration and then that was going to be like calm relaxation but then this came about and i'm kind of okay with it honestly it might change i don't know Tomorrow morning, I'll be like, I hate that idea, and I'll change it. But that's the awesome thing about art. I can do it, because it's my art. I'm kind of greedy like that. So, yeah, those were the pieces that I worked on. Um, yeah, it was kind of cool how this one kind of came together, at least for now. Like this back, back canvas part right here underneath. Because I was actually going to be turning that into its own canvas. But then I noticed how it complemented this one. So I'm like, hell yeah, that needs to go together. So, yeah. In person, these blacks are very black and the reds are very nice. There's some maroons in there too, but it's still pretty crisp, which made me super happy. And the blues, ah, anyways. So I'm going to go back out to the front and close this up. All right, so that was the uh, three pieces. Oh, sorry, I had to make sure my glasses weren't falling off of my face. But yeah, those are the three pieces I'm kind of working on right now. 
kind of finished, whatever. I'll see where I feel, how I feel about them. They feel pretty finished, but um, sometimes, like I, like I said, I like to put a little space between me and the work. See how I feel the next day. But anyways, um, thank you for dropping by. Uh, see the paintings again down there, kind of sitting out. Uh, ah, scratching my nose a lot, but it's close. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but yeah, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for looking and listening and being interested in what up, what's up with my current art. Um, it really means a lot for me to have people come by. Um, which brings me to the business portion. Ah, put my hair back like that so it's not in my eyes. Um, the business portion is if you like my art and want to collect some of it, I'm running my Patreon. So find me there under, I believe, I am Wessel or I am Art Wessel. The art should hopefully be recognizable enough to find pretty quickly. Um, you can either subscribe there for like the art subscription service or hit me up about a commission. Um, if you don't want to do that, uh, head out to my merch site at IamWessel.com. Got a lot of these cool paintings on totes and t-shirts and stuff like that, as well as some of my graphic designs. Um, if that doesn't interest you, that's completely cool. Like, shares, comments. I know you guys, if you've watched one, you've probably seen it all the way to the end before too. And if you don't want to like, share, comment, that's completely okay as well. Um, just you coming through and appreciating is a lot to me. So even if I have never know about it, I know there's got to be some people doing it. Ha! So everybody, I hope you have a great day. Um, so goodbye from... It's like the sound quality is bad enough and then this bus goes by and it's like, what's this? I can't hear this guy. But um, yeah, I hope you all have a good day. Thanks for dropping by. And yeah, peace from Wessel out here in Los Angeles on another beautiful day.